Hey everyone, welcome back to The Code Wolf, and today we've just got a short video to address an issue that I see come up time and time again. Please remember to hit subscribe and the like button if you enjoyed this video or found this tip helpful. So the issue that I see all the time is .NET developers will create a new local project like we have here, this is just kind of an out of the box template, and then they'll run their .NET build and make sure everything is working correctly, which is fine, but then they want to turn this project into a local Git repo. And that's so they can start tracking their changes and committing and reverting to earlier stages, or maybe they want to create branches to try different things. All of that is great, but what happens is they'll run git init, and so that creates an empty repository. And of course, if we do a git status, we can see the files that it's tracking, or rather the files that are untracked at the moment. But you'll see here that we also have our bin and object directory and some things in here that we don't want tracked by git. And the way we fix that is using a git ignore file. Now, as you can see, right now there is no git ignore file in our project because that git init command doesn't create one by default. And so what I see developers do is they'll go out to Google and they'll type git ignore .NET template or something like that. And then they'll start hunting through these links and trying to find the right one and they'll copy it down. Or they save a copy of the ignore file that they want on their computer or they copy it from another project. There's all this fumbling to get the repository set up correctly, but there's actually a built-in command for .NET that just handles this for you. So if we were to type .NET new git ignore and hit enter, you can see that file pops in right over here and it's the exact file that we want. This is the correct template. It has the bin directory, the object directory, and a million other things for .NET that we should consider. And so you also don't run the risk of picking the wrong template or an outdated template when you take this approach. So now if we run our git status, you can see that we still have our untracked files, but it's no longer showing that bin directory or the object directory. And so we can say add all, and then just do an initial commit here. And now if I do a git status, we're all good to go. And we have our git ignore set up for us properly. So whenever you create a new project locally with .NET and you want to start using Git, just use the .NET new git ignore command to really speed up this process and make sure you've got the right file. Thanks so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe and I'll see you next time.